Co? Zapad się zapad. Smaczonego. To tam na gate end, to Maps is to kind of choose a key bear. So I have uh, Sylvain here as the key bear on this side, and whenever there's a key, I make sure that it gets over to him so that I always know who has the key. I can make sure that's the person I'm sending towards the doors. All right, and uh, I'm noticing these are students from the Blue Lion house. That's right, oh, we're, we're playing a different house now. That's a good call. Uh, in this same file, we're playing uh, as uh, the Blue Lion path and as female Edelgard. Violet. I'm oh, sorry, female Violet. <laughs> so many things. I know. Oh, and we got this. Let's see how many characters there are in this game. So it's it's definitely a challenge to keep track of both these two. But as a professor, that's my duty. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna cozy up to Violet here and use the combat art. To... Oh, we can. Yeah. Let's see. Let's use that one. <laughs> And I keep not skipping the battle animations because they're, they're so, so cool. Strong. Yeah. What should I do? Deru, you just be you. <laughs> and here's my healer. Uh, as always, it's so important to uh, keep track of your healer in these maps and uh, make sure that they stay alive so they can help you stay alive. Yeah, for sure. But as you had mentioned too, that it's really important to make sure especially for this map, to uh, point out who, which character has the key, so then you're not scrambling around trying to identify where they are, but also switching them around. Mm -hmm. All right, so making pretty good work of these folks. And then next, let's, let's move you over here. She doesn't have quite the same movement as everyone else, but she's a, a mage, so her uh, ranged attacks are really, really critical because all of my mounted units they generally tend to be lance users, so I really need to have someone with ranged attacks on my side over there. I don't know if you're able to see it, but some of uh, our students here, uh, including Myla, have uh, heroes relics. And those are very special weapons that you can only use if you have uh, the associated crest. And crests are of incredible importance in this world. They determine your status and power. Uh, they're passed down through bloodlines. And so whether you get a crest and which crest you have really determines your position in this world. And maybe not everybody's super happy with that system. <laughs> I'm just loving how Ash is able to attack those enemies across the wall. Like, yeah, I mean, we're, we're able to take them down without uh, putting ourselves in too much danger, which is really nice. Oh, my battalion leveled up. All right, Ash, you did well. Now you get to forge on ahead. Proceed with caution. I shall do this. I think. How are you doing, Didu? I'm gonna heal you. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal Didu. All right, thank you, Mercy. Well, let's go back over to this side, and there's a lever here. Let's let's flip it. So a few enemies to take out here. Uh huh. So let's send Sylvain up this way take that guy down because he's blocking one of the warp panels I want to use. Normally you would need to check all of these warp panels, see where they take you, but I I just happen to know which one I want. <laughs> I'm You've go done go this before. There. I've done this before. Oh yeah, let's use Rally because Felix, he's a bit of a downer. He needs some pep in his step. And then we're all going to move closer to this warp panel, which is going to take us. Um, where we need to be to get closer to the death knight, who sounds really friendly, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> if we have time, we're going to go and try and say hello to him. Yeah, I'm not, not so sure if the title of death knight is, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, his, uh, his mother should have thought twice before naming him death knight, maybe. <laughs> So just to reiterate to the folks at home that are just tuning in, um, this is uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses where you uh, play as a professor to um, basically 
uh, encourage yes. students yes. Um, to yes. and just prep them up. Um, you can play however you want. There's a lot of depth in this game. Um, there's a really deep narrative story. All of these characters have their own personality. Um, and right now we're playing um, a bit earlier in the game where it's a uh, before the five-year jump, which um, if you tune in on yesterday's uh, Nintendo Direct, uh, you got a little bit of a preview of what happens after that jump, but uh, this game is, is really, really cool, and we're really excited to show it to you today. Yeah, and uh, that was just a taste, what you saw in the trailer. Their, their stories, their backgrounds are all so complex. You can't, you can't tell what's going on until you play the game, so I, you have a lot to look forward to, uh, viewers at home. All right, so my key bear is here at the door. We're going to go ahead and say hi to the death knight pretty soon. You know what, Sylvain, you're you're a good man, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and let your professor do the hello. Oh, my gosh. Because death knight is very powerful and very, very scary. It's risky. We're all very scared of him. So let's go ahead and end this turn. I want to point out is that well first I'm going to defeat this enemy and then I'll point stuff out but um, say I had royally messed up in battle and god forbid let one of my students uh, get defeated there's actually a way using Define Pulse where you can go back and you can redo the whole match if you want or you can just go back a few moves and this is obviously very powerful um, it's very limited so you have to use it strategically or you can choose to just not use it at all and just live with the decks but um, it's, it's actually a great way to not have to reset a whole you know 30 minute battle if, if something doesn't go your way. Yeah. So it's an easy option for fans. It's also important to note, too, that right now you're playing in the normal mode. I'm playing in classic mode, yes, which yeah. means that uh, when people die, they stay dead. So, um, yeah, Divine Pulse is a great way to get around to the, the yeah, and go and kind of rethink your strategies. Another battalion level up, that's handy. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, no. oh, you said he was friendly? Yeah, so we're gonna stop right here, right here, uh -oh. before he, uh, yeah, um, because this friendly fellow just got a little less friendly. So. <laughs> you said he was friendly. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I should have pointed out that uh, not only uh, do you need to either take down the Death Knight, which is difficult, or take down all other enemies on that map, which there were a lot of them, uh, you have to do it in 25 turns. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. Yeah. so there are conditions and challenges to every battle. Yes. Cool. Uh, but that was just uh, a little sneak peek at Fire Emblem Three Houses. As we mentioned, it's coming out July 26th, yes. so you won't have to wait long to yeah. get your hands on it. Yeah. Thank you so much for running this through with us and yeah. explaining everything. <laughs> there was a lot of content for yes, sure it's to a run very through. Deep game. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Uh, but don't go away. We still have a lot more content to show you. Up next is a multiplayer mode of Luigi's Mansion Three. Chyba się koleżanka na mnie obraziła. Tam to co wtedy? Co? To samo? Nie, taka inna. Ta co ja ją poznałem. Z Bazuta? No. Ja się obraziła? Co? Ja się obraziła? Magdalena. No. no. Bo była dzisiaj na tym. Na plaży na tej idę. No. Chciałem się z nią spotkać, tak? Dawno jej nie widziałem, no to tak pogadać z tego. Czemu się obraziła? Bo wiesz, nie miała, jednak powiedziała, że pójdzie się uczyć. To ja się zażartowałem, że wiesz, to zrób zdjęcie jak się opaliłaś czekoladę. Ale ona nie lubi jak się wiesz. Ja już jeszcze jak się już wypoczęła się. Nawet nie można wydusić od niej jednego zdjęcia. Raz tylko mi zdjęcie wysłała. Jak wygląda i to wszystko. No to widziałeś wszystko. No i jeszcze wtedy nie widziałem. Tam 
nasa, czy co? Co? Ten sam mówi z nasa, czy kolejny? A ja nie wiem, nie patrzyłem, tylko powiedziałem na kosułki. Mi się chyba na mnie obraziła. A ja do niej piszę, że ja się żartowałem, no i przepraszam, jeśli się to uraziło. No powiesz, jakbym nie przeprosił, to by się do mnie nie odzywała. Cholera wie, co tam siedzi w ogóle. Co? Cholera wie, co we ogóle siedzi. Wiesz, po części jest fajna, tak? A po części jest dziwna. Na przykład w ogóle nie, zap nie zaprasza mnie do siebie. Ja ją za krótkie imię to powiedziała, że nie chcę. No nie, ona chce tego pogadać, no nie chce, nie, nie szuka nikogo. I to co? E, ja zaprosiłem dwie inne koleżanki z roku, które mnie w ogóle nie interesują i je zaprosiłem. A w domu też możesz posiedzieć i pogadać. No proszę jej zapytać. Cześć im dzisiaj za suchę te krótki do słuchy. Albo ja dostałem suchę. Do weź moje zobacz. Oh, I got that from. Tego czasu, jak my chodziliśmy, czy, yy, czy jak ja przestałem, to ty dalej tu byłeś. Ja nie wiem, kiedy ty żeś nie był. Ja ostatnio z dwa lata temu byłem. No to wróciło chyba po roku. Po roku wróciło, rok nie było. Chyba. Teraz jak się spotkaliśmy we trójkę, czyli ja, ty i Maj, to akurat wtedy pogradajmy się skończyło Games United, bo jak my wychodziliśmy, jak my wchodziliśmy, to oni wychodzili. No to pewnie to było. A co to mógł być? To śminęło. A jak ci sami kolesie byli, to na pogradajmy. Ja tam nie widziałem wtedy. A ci sami są na tym pogradajmy, czy ktoś nowy już prowadzi? To nie miałem trochę. A ty kiedy to prowadzi? A to nie mam prowadzącego, to wszystko. Poznawali na temat. Sześć lat już to jest panie. Co? Sześć lat to już jest panie. Hi again, welcome back. Uh, my name is Teresa. We're here to show a sneak peek of the multiplayer mode Scare Scraper in Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm joined here by uh, Dan, Roxy, and also Bryce from Next Level Games. Thanks so much for coming and joining us, Bryce. We're really excited to have you here. Yeah, thanks for being here. And uh, thanks to the dev team for putting all the hard work here. Uh, except the last few bugs right now. So uh, Bryce is a game director uh, for Luigi's Mansion 3, and Next Level Games also worked on uh, Dark Moon, Luigi's Mansion 2. 
Um, so uh, why don't we hop into scare mode? Uh, Dan, why don't you walk us through this? Yeah, let's just go right into it. We're going to set up a, a local group. You can play with one to eight players. Uh, Nagle mówią, że to piątka i szósta. Znaczy nie, ja. Jedynka już jest. Zero chyba. Zero, jedynka i rewelacja. I chyba czwórka też. Yeah, that's one of the big improvements over LM2 is kind of endlessly generating floors, uh, keep variety going, keep going over time. Like we're just the, jumping the, in. <laughs> Yeah, so as we're starting up, Bryce, any tips for... Słuchaj, nagle smoke na ten sens. Tyle. Tyle wszyscy widzą, że dzięki za dwójkę. Jest jeden mankament, jeżeli oni nie będą chcieli tego otworzyć, ja ich nie znam. Wczoraj oglądałem kilka poziomkę streamową. No jak siedział w fotelu. Tak. Wczoraj? No to kawałek oglądałem, a kiedy to było? No wczoraj. Patrzcie co on dzisiaj wymyśli, to zobaczymy. Ale co, on chce udawać tego. Eee... No? No ja nie wiem. Dobra, trzeba iść tym. Nic nie trzeba może. Dwa do dwóch. Ale nie wiem, czy da się tutaj mieć taki formalny znajomy, więc nie 